Hello HyperStudy users! In this video I would like to show you the HyperView connection in HyperStudy and demonstrate this uh, connection along with uh, HyperMesh model type to set up uh, the setup you are seeing here. The HyperView model type uh, allows you to leverage in uh, HyperView hotspot tool to identify hotspots and save these results. Uh, in order to uh, use them, to extract them automatically uh, for the purpose of a DOE or optimization. Uh, I would like now to show you step by step uh, how we uh, come up with the setup you are seeing here. So for this, I will add a basic approach with uh, an empty definition to go through the steps um, uh, with you. So, uh, first we add a HyperMesh model type, which in this case will be defined with uh, our link file exported from HyperMesh. It's a byte frame model example. So, we select this HM to HST file. Here, we define the name of the solver deck, bike.fm, and the solver. It will be solved with OptiStrap. Click on import variables, so here we see our the shape variables that uh, have been exported from HyperMesh. Next we run this um, nominal run and let's see in the approaches folder when we expand run1, m1, we see all the solver files and this h3d result file which is written. Now what we want is to use this H3D file in a, in a HyperView a post-processing session. So for this, we come back in define model and we add a HyperView model type, which will be defined with a previously uh, saved uh, MVW HyperView post-processing session. Uh, which uh, has been defined with the uh, baseline H3D file. I will show you in HyperView what I have done previously. So I have loaded the baseline H3D file, uh, plotted results on two windows, contour, displacement and uh, stress. And then for each one, I have um, identified the hotspots, Review them and same for the stress. Uh, click on hotspot. And an interesting thing is that you can leverage in various settings, like for instance here, uh, to ignore some uh, elements, uh, rigid and airlink, uh, on your um, stress contour plot. And then fi find hotspot, review them. And finally, this session has been saved in order to have the baseline um, um, hotspot session that is used for the definition of the HyperView model type uh, in HyperStudy. Uh, and last thing, we click again on import variables. So in this case, there are no variables imported. You will only see in define output responses that these hotspots from the HyperView session are uh, identified and we wait for the values to be extracted. Uh, additionally, you will uh, see that there is a solver argument uh, image which is uh, defined by default. And this argument allows you to uh, bring also the preview, so the images you see here in the hyperview windows. It allows you to have this uh, preview also on HyperStudy site. Um, okay, so uh, the last thing from the setup is to link the H3D file, uh, which is um, written from the HyperMesh uh, model after the OptiStruct solving, to link this file to the HyperView model type. So for this, we go uh, in model resources. So here you can see uh, uh, our two models, HyperMesh and HyperView, and let's see them also uh, in the blog view side. So what we want, I right click on the HyperMesh model type here. 
we want to create an output file from the hypermesh uh, solving. So here, uh, a note that we are under the run folder, under M1. So we define uh, the H3D file as um, output resource. And then we link this output file. Here I'm using add link resource. And we link this file to our Hyperview session because we want that uh, this updated for every new evaluation, the H3D file will be updated. And we want to use it along with the Hyperview session. Okay. And the last thing we have to do is to validate also our Hyperview connection. So here we can do manually uh, write execute extract. So here the Hyperview session is uh, is run and the results are extracted. So let's see. Uh, in the final output responses, we have the values from uh, the Hyperview session. Along with this, you can define out other responses uh, using um, uh, the, um, the result files. And uh, I mentioned also the possibility to bring the preview images. So here it is done through this media source tab. If you don't see it on your site, uh, you need to click on this button, uh, show, hide uh, tabs, and then enable the media source tab to see it. And here, if you click on find media, so uh, HyperStudy will automatically uh, detect and expose the preview images uh, that uh, has been uh, exported, saved uh, from HyperView. So uh, this is how the setup has been done. Now let's see some uh, results uh, in the optimization and DOE approaches. So here we have the same setup uh, and um, I have run an optimization where the goals are to minimize the mass and there are two constraints on the hotspot uh, uh, values identified on the displacement and stress control plots to keep them lower than specific values. Um, and Let's go in uh, directly, so in the post-processing. So here I'm showing the media tab under post-processing where you can see the table with uh, all the solved um, uh, evaluations uh, and you can select one of them and see the preview on the, on the left. Uh, what you can do, for instance, you can select the baseline model and the optimized one and review them together on or select all the evaluations and um, uh, and play this as animation and now let's see also uh, some results under a GUI so here in this case we have a space filling GUI um, let me show you uh, the side-by-side post-processing. So here, for instance, um, I will display uh, the box plots like this and in this window, uh, the media. So for instance, here, what you can do is to uh, investigate if there are outliers, like here in this case, on the displacement and also on the other responses um, and review the, the preview of the evaluation. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.